you want to review that question you had difficulty with in excruciating detail. Whether you get things right or wrong, you want to review them in excruciating detail. That is one of the biggest things you want to focus on if your exam is coming up very soon. You want to look at everything you get wrong, everything that you were down to and you were unsure of, and everything that you got right but could have done more efficiently. You want to look at all of those things. You want to look at what you answered incorrectly and why you answered it incorrectly. What trap did the test makers lay for you? What trap of encouragement did they use to lure you, to pull you towards that wrong answer choice? What trap of discouragement did they use to push you away from the right answer choice? Was it something in the answer choice or was it something in the stimulus or the passage? If it was a particular topic or method of reasoning or wording, you want to look at that exact thing and you want to find other questions that exhibit that exact thing as well. So if there's a method of reasoning involving numbers versus percentages or absolute terms versus relative terms, you want to look at all of those questions that deal with that. You want to go online and search for categorizations of similar questions. If it's a circle game or a pattern game, you want to go and do lots of circle games and pattern games. It's not enough to just look at the answer key and say, oh, duh, I get it now. Like, obviously, you don't get it just by looking at the correct answer, or you wouldn't be in this position now. You wouldn't have kept repeating the same mistakes over and over to the point where you've done, what, 10, 20 exams probably by this point, combining timed and untimed, and you're still not where you want to be. So obviously, you've got to change something about what you're doing. If you were already getting 175 plus, you wouldn't be here right now. So think about whether you're taking the exam the next few days from now or the next few weeks from now or months, whatever it is, what could you be doing differently? What is the work that you know you should be doing but aren't, aren't doing because it's easier to just take exam after exam and score it and be happy or sad about your results and then move on to the next one and say, oh, I get it whenever I look at the answer key. Obviously, that's not enough. The people who do the best are reviewing in excruciating detail. They've got notebooks filled with their own analysis of what was difficult about the problem and why they got it wrong and what they need to do differently. They're not spending time on message boards and forums and blogs. They're not just doing exam after exam or just reading and watching tons of explanations. Sure, all of that stuff can help to some degree, but the real work is in sitting with the practice exams on your own in silent darkness, or maybe not in silent darkness, but in a quiet, sterile environment where you can focus on your own thought process. And that's where the magic happens. That's, and you don't see it. People don't talk about it because they're too busy doing it. The people who are on message boards and forums just complaining or talking about how great they're doing, they're not doing that great or else they wouldn't be there. The work is in your own analysis. And the reason that you're not doing that enough is because it's not fun. A sign that it's valuable is that it's not fun. Just like a lot of the time, the toughest workouts are the ones that are excruciatingly difficult in the moment, but they also feel really good afterwards because you can take pride in knowing that you've done a great job, that you've given it your all and you get the results accordingly.